ship saw built in 1927. We uh, found it in the Vancouver in Canada. Found it in an old parking lot. The parking lot was owned by a big company. They sold us for basically the price of the scrap steel. It was in derelict a condition. JT Hamill helped with the entire restoration of the ship saw. He basically made a plan on how to restore it, put it back together. The restoration process took quite some time in the long run because it was done on, on spare time. It went really well actually. Everything came apart really well. Definitely the, the quality of the machine shows. The wooden rim wheels needed to be refurbished, re-laminated. They were soaked in hardwood, soaked in water, bent right onto the wheel themselves and bolted down. I don't know how many ship saws are actively running in the world today, but they're definitely not a lot. It's a specialty item from the early 1900s. They're designed specifically to build large wooden ships. So they're not building many large wooden ships anymore, so they're not making these tools anymore. Definitely, we're really lucky to have found this machine and uh, give it an extra life. We actually put a, a sawmill, a bandsaw blade, custom made for the, for the saw itself. It works really good. We can't get three phase power here, and uh, the most efficient uh, way we found to power the ship saw it takes about uh, 20 horsepower was to add an old motorcycle inch onto it. The ship saw itself is made for the specific purpose of cutting ship's frames for this type of build. Uh, it saves an enormous amount of time because it cuts variable bevel curves necessary for the shapes of the frames themselves. It's probably three times as fast. Cut, cut it one time with the ship saw because the angle is already cut into the frame. You don't need to retouch anything. The cut is done once and then and it's ready to be assembled. We started to cut our first frames with it, which was very well. All in all, we're very happy with the results.